So howdy everybody, welcome to show this week on the high road. It's gonna be a family special. We're heading down to our favorite family place. It's the G2 Ranch just outside of Pearsall, Texas. And we're gonna go along with a father and son that's all about families and it's all about exotics right here this week at the G2 Ranch just outside of Pearsall, Texas. So we're gonna start out with a father and son hunting team. It's Tyler and Colton Tiller. How you doing? Good. Welcome to Texas. How, How you, you doing? Doing real well. Good. Hey. This is Colton Tiller right here. Hi, Colton. This is Miss Sandy. Hi, Sandy. Hi. She is, nice she is to the meet boss you. of the place. Nice okay. to meet you. My name's Colton Tiller. I'm from Springfield, Oregon, and I'm excited to go on my first fallow hunt at the G2 Ranch. And this right here is Tyler. Hi, this is Tyler. Colton's dad. Hey, Gilchrist. Welcome to our home. My name's Tyler Tiller, and I'm with Timber Creek Outdoors. We're located in Springfield, Oregon, and Timber Creek makes aftermarket gun accessories. The majority of our accessories are for modern sporting rifles. And MSRs aren't just for tactical or home defense. They have a great role in the hunting industry. Timber Creek Outdoors is a family-owned, American-owned business. They make fantastic products that help any modern sporting rifle become very customized. The products that they have, they're American-made by craftsmen, by hunters, by shooters, and that uh, they listen to what their customers say. In Timber Creek, they service the dealer and they service the customer second to none. That's cool. Now we're gonna put you in a tent. Okay. No. There's a fellow there. Right there, that's what we're that's after. That's cool. We made it. Okay, LG, that's Colton Tiller. That's Colton? his daddy, Tyler Tiller. Daddy, good to meet you. And this is gonna be our guide. I'm LG, I'm a guide here at the G2 Ranch. When I'm not here, I spend a lot of time in Africa and Alaska. On my off time, I'm here at the G2 Ranch guiding. Love the place and it's always been my passion. Here at the G2 Ranch, we got over 40 different species of exotics from axes all the way to bongo, whatever you're looking for. For those people that just don't wanna travel, G2 Ranch has it all. What are you hunting, Bella? You're a not fella. gonna see this lady right here without a smile on her face. Oh, thank okay? you. I mean, she's always got a smile on her face. Now, Colton has a lot of hunting under his belt. Uh, he's done a lot of it up in Oregon, but he's never come to Texas to hunt until now. So the G2 Ranch is a place that uh, is family friendly, as I say. Wow, well, it's nice to meet you. Fine, that's me, <laughs> Big, big fan you. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Thank you very much, I appreciate that. And it's also corporate friendly. We've been down there so many times I can't even count. And the G2's got so many different exotic animals and most of the time when you're hunting exotics, you're gonna do it safari style. You're gonna cover a lot of country, but they also have stand, so if you wanna stand hunt, you can be very successful stand hunting. Now over the years, we've taken a variety of animals. Maddie went down there one time and took a heck of a nice axis deer. Nice that was it. Thank you. <laughs> I took the 50 BMG and then wound up shooting a nice Oryx. He just dropped them. What you say there? <laughs> so with all the choices that Colton has down here, he chose a fallow deer. So it's gonna be game on because of fallow, they're in the rut. I was really excited when my dad told me that I was going to come hunt fallow. Very good. Uh -huh. That's good shooting right there. Bad guy, Keith. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> All righty, so Colton and LG, y'all got the target set up there. You got a determinator target. What we're going to do is we're going to find out your effective range with that target. So I want you to look down for the rifle. Put this bag underneath that elbow. And what we've got, we've got a determinator effective range target down there at 100 yards. And tell me when you're good. Right and so there. what we're doing here is we're going to get Colton where he feels real good and comfortable with this rifle. You know the last time I shot this rifle? When? Oregon. Yep, Oregon when I shot a big old mule deer buck with your daddy. All right, so you good? Mm -hmm. Okay, if you're good, close the action. Okay. You need to put it on fire when you're ready. And just crush the trigger. 
Okay, so that was a good trigger pull, but I want you to, what I mean by crushing the trigger, let's put it on safety. When you pull that trigger back, I want you to hold the trigger back. Don't release it, okay? Just hold that trigger back. It'll force you to not flinch and jerk the trigger. So let's see what we got here. Not bad, not bad at all. Okay, let's see you do that again. Put it on fire and send one. Better, better. Squeeze slowly and, and all the way back and hold it all the way back. Perfect, perfect. What I'm watching, and more than anything, I'm watching the farm because I know the gun's on. That first shot you shot was awesome. Now I want you to shoot two more times. When we shoot the effective range for the target, we shoot five times. All right, so anytime you're ready. You didn't know the trigger back. <laughs> I'm gonna get you to do that as a habit. Okay, I want you to send one more, and then we're gonna find out what's your effective range. Nice, nice, that a boy. All right, let's go ahead and check the effective range of that. And that'll tell us what we can do here. So, you feel good? Yeah. Okay. All right. We're gonna go down there and check it. See what we got. Let's go. I don't think we're gonna see one that far away if we rattle. You don't think so? No. If you rattle, one's gonna come close. Well, your effective range is 300 yards. Mm -hmm. Good job. And a boy. I think we can get within 300 yards of one. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's good shooting. Mm -hmm. If you're hunting for an animal that's got a sniffer, a nose, you better be concerned about the way that you smell. As for that reason, I don't care whether you're hunting in a blind, you're spotting stalking, doesn't matter. You better do everything you can to reduce human odor. As for that reason that we you scent killer. There's a lot of benefits in hunting exotics. The big benefit is you can hunt them 12 months a year. You combine the fact that they're a challenge to hunt and that the meat is really good and they're beautiful trophies. I think why not on exotics? There's basically three different kinds of fallow deer, three different subspecies. There's gonna be a white, a spotted, and a chocolate. So let's just see what Colton wants to go after. When I think of exotic hunting in Texas, I typically think of safari style in the back of a high rack or getting in a blind. But the way we're gonna hunt these fallows is a little different. We're gonna try a spot and stalk, and we're even gonna try rattling one in. Because right now it's peak rut, and they've been out fighting, and you can hear them grunting and making all kinds of noise. So we were sitting out in this spot, and we're gonna try to rattle in a fallow. So these fallow deer are really in a full rut. Watch the brush, because sometimes they come in really fast. Okay. The cool thing about rattling these bucks, and it being peak rut, is you're sitting there and all of a sudden, bam, one shows up out of nowhere. It may be behind you, it may be in front of you, uh, but you have to make the adjustment and get on the gun and try to make a good shot. Look right out there, Colton. Oh, I see it. Do you see that? That's a fallow. Oh, that's cool. It's a white one. Yeah. You see it coming down the hill right there? Yeah. It has huge horns. Yeah. So we get on a beautiful fallow buck finally get good camera footage, everything's set up perfectly. Colton's on them and ready to pull the trigger. We saw a lot of fallow and they were super cool. I wanted to shoot one, but they wouldn't let me. And Colton was confused. He knew everything was perfect. He knew Johnny was ready. And we just told him, nope, we're gonna let that one walk. That was the first time probably in Colton's life that he had a buck in his crosshairs and he had to let the thing walk. Okay, did you have fun? Uh-huh. Okay, like compare this to like, any other hunt that you've ever been on, how best, is it? Best hunt. Best. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we saw a lot of fallow, a lot of access, a lot of deer. If one would have come in, could you get a good rest on the Coke Yeager? Yeah. Was it solid? Mm -hmm. I kind of figured it would be. Good. Look at this, Colton didn't do anything <laughs> like it. Look, look at that smile on his face. <laughs> Hey, Mr. Keith. Yeah. Colton's gotten something for you. If you'd come over here, he's got something to show you. And, okay. you know, it's a little bit of a surprise and not sure how big of a surprise it is, but. Look at that! It's a pretty big surprise, like That's 192 awesome. inches of surprise. That's 192 inch deer? 192 and four eighths. Oh. 
<laughs> look at that. Oh, look at this deer right here. That's an Oregon mule deer right there. And I shot it with Tyler and I am, I am very, very excited. Thank you so much. Yeah. Oh, I got a place for this guy. Look at that. That's, I can't believe that. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank Absolutely. You. And thank y'all for coming down. Oh, well, Colton thank wanted you. to surprise you with it. Well, it's a surprise, all right. You're all we'll right, you know like it. That. And, and I thought only Taylor was the best tiller, okay? <laughs> now, now. <laughs> That's my best mule deer ever. Really? That's my best mule deer ever right there. It's a beautiful morning, and we're, we spotted some fallow up in the hill, and we're going to try to go cut him off. For being 11 years old, Colton's a very experienced hunter. But hunting these fallow is gonna be a challenge. The brush is thick, and Colton's gonna have to get on the sticks and make a good shot. We just saw tons of fallow deer when we are walking. That little bump right there. Fallow are pretty mellow deer until the rut kicks in. When the rut kicks in, total different personality. They'll fight to their death. Now these fallow deer are rutting hard, similar to a whitetail or for me, a black-tailed deer. And they were just out there searching for them does. And they wouldn't even pay attention to us. They just keep on going. So LG put us on this spot. We thought the fallow would come out and two small bucks ran out with a doe. They were too small and they ran off, but we're seeing a lot of action. Well, let's wrap it up, let's go have lunch and then come back out and try it again, put some horns together for a while and sit out and see if we can get it done this evening. Naturally, we wanna know what's in the area. So we're gonna put out reconnex cameras and the reconnex capture so many different images. It's like, wow, look at all the wildlife here. Are you kidding me, Douglas? You got it done. Look at this. Woo! Yeah. Way to go, Douglas. <laughs> I'm proud of you. <laughs> and a good Nice. Oh, God. Well, you got it. I got it. I got it. You're, you're the man. You're the man. Now drive, buddy. Now, I'm telling you what the, the cool yeah. thing the, the cool thing is when you come to G2 you're gonna meet all kinds of people and Amen. and I met Douglas and his family and it's like you know what good people he's out here on a black buck hunt and you got it done I get it done yeah oh yeah what about that hat Douglas I like that hat yeah, yeah. I like my hat too buddy. <laughs>
white ones are like off white with a little bit of spots on them. He has a real dark spots mm -hmm. on them, so he makes a gorgeous, gorgeous cape on him. Beautiful hide. It's super cool. You can get your hands around him. Two hands. Yeah. How about up here? No. They're really cool. They got these kickers coming off the back and this real tall one up here. Mm -hmm. This one doesn't have that. Good job, buddy. That is a really cool buck. So finally at the end of this hunt, Colton finally gets his his fallow deer is a great fallow buck, actually, really good fallow buck. Proud he did it all, stayed calm, and we did a lot of walking and all that, so he stayed calm and very proud of him. It was a great hunt, great experience. I was glad to be in it. Hunting with my dad's super fun because when me and him do something together, we get to like hang out outside and be in the outdoors. What'd you do, run over it? No. Congratulations. Thank you. What do you think? That was a pretty fun hunt. Fantastic. That's a good one. Tell him we got him up coming to horn, throwing some horns together. Rattling fallow bucks. That's pretty cool. Texas style. Yeah. So it is, uh, right now we are October, kind of coming on the third week of October. So the fallow deer here at the G2 are in the rut. Cool. Well, that's worth coming to Texas for, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. I'll tell you what, that's going to be good eating too. Yeah. All right. Well, good job. Thank you. Good job. Tyler's a father of four beautiful kids, and he uses hunting as an opportunity to spend time together and build that relationship. It's been awesome hunting with Colton the last couple years. The moment that buck stepped out, he pulled that trigger, and as soon as the gun went off, we knew it was a good hit. Wrapping my arms around my son and congratulating him is one of the best feelings out here in the woods. The outdoors is the absolute best way in the world to grow a relationship and uh, respect and love, and it's clear that that's going on in the Tiller family. I honestly don't know of a better way for a father and son or a father and daughter to uh, spend time together and bond better than the outdoors. The outdoors is the absolute best way in the world to, to grow a relationship and uh, respect and love. And it's clear that that's going on in the Tiller family. I've known Keith for over 20 years and it's an honor to call him a friend. And it's very special to introduce my kids to Keith and watch them grow up hunting with Keith and building that relationship with him. Keith does a great job in this hunting industry that we're all in. And that's the main reason Timber Creek's involved with the High Road, because we share the same values and the same passion for the outdoors. On today's program, you've gotten to see a glimpse of what the G2 Ranch has to offer for families that are looking to spend time outdoors hunting exotics. But the G2 Ranch really focuses on the family. And I think the reason why is because they're family-owned business, and they're owned by Don and Sandy Gilchrist. They love what they do. They love sharing this beautiful place with others. And so these families come in, and you come in as a stranger. Okay, you don't know Don and Sandy, but when you leave, you're going to be part of the family, part of the G2 family, because they make you feel like family. So I want to encourage you, if you're looking for a cool place to go, that you really want to build the memories, okay? You can't beat the G2 Ranch. Go ahead and give my friends Don and Sandy Gilchrist a call, and they will take care of you. My name is Keith Warren, and we'll catch you next time.